Hey, let's continue with our master data in lead project. People who are joining this video straight away, there's a link in the description, click on it, sign up. It's a free project budget template that you can use. So uh, let's go on to our cost codes. So this is setting up our, all our cost codes. Again, as I said, all black cells are your formula cells or, or they are coded. So you don't have to do anything in there. Um, everything that's blue is your input cell. So you can make changes there and all those changes will be reflected onto your, uh, your details. So these are the things, these are the columns that are used as drop downs um, throughout the project budget template so that you can use them, enjoy them, change them, customize them, however, um, however, whichever way you want to use them. So let's look at this. So we've got all our cost heads. So everything that we allocated right here, which were the broad categories. So all our broad categories are right here. So in this section right here. So this is a drop down so that this drop down is populated by everything that you put in over here. So if you add something new that will pop up in your cost codes right here and now this, this is where you break them down further. So here we've got, um, let's say this is my GSD stuff or, or whatever the account head or cost head that is. So we've got our uh, account head, um, cost head here as GSD. Now under GSD, I've got two other things. I've got one which is, um, I've coded them 6001, 6002. One of them is a GSD liability payment that I've got to make and then sometimes uh, especially in construction or development, um, we can claim back all the input tax credits. So I've got an account for that as well. And wherever that account is gonna fall, you can select or make changes here. So now this is where your account heads come in because whatever details that you've got there, then they would come in in this section. Now again, this section here is usually a liability account. Doesn't matter what I've got here, don't worry about it. You can change them, delete them, whatever you've got but this is usually a liability account and you can select whichever liability account that is. Now, if you've selected GST, then this column or GST or WAT, then this column is of use to you. But if you're in your company info, you're from United States or somewhere else in the world that does not bother about GST and all these trivial taxes, um, then you don't really need to worry about it. Um, but if you are from, a part of the world where you would need to have you know gst accounted for and and vat accounted for you can put in the percentage over there but all you have to do is say whether or not certain cost code or anything that you've got whether or not it actually contains gst within it so you will have something like for example like this is my sales and income account uh, and, and i want to track all of these things i want to track my uh, construction sales uh, if I rent my unit out before I start construction, I want to track that. If I make any interest on that thing, I want to track that. If I make any uh, sale of secondhand goods, I want to track that. If I want to <clears throat> make a sale of houses or whatever, I want to track that. And I want to change this to revenue or sales revenue. And this one is going to be my other revenue, for example. And this is going to be interest earned, so it could be I could just select and type interest and it will come up uh, very easily. So the reason we've I've combined everything is because there's a method to madness with everything that we're doing here. Um, the reason is that we've got 5004. So some people are more, um, uh, it's easy for them to, do, to remember account heads and cost codes by number, like 5004. I know that it belongs to sale of second ad chattels. Um, but some people are who only remember secondhand or the word chattels. So um, they can quickly come in here and uh, easily select them in the, in the lead project. So the same thing goes uh, on this section over here. So this could be my other revenue um, section, like sale of old house. Like if I sell another uh, old house before I start building, I can put that in other revenue and you can you can call it sale of old house if you want, but in the back end, how many how many accounts that you want to break that down into? So that is that depends upon you and your accountant how you're gonna set it up. Um, the less accounts that you have in this column, which is your account heads, the better that is because this is all part of your sales revenue, 
and this is going to be let's just delete that and we can go GST tax liability and we can change that um, over here now you can delete them and start afresh no problem whatsoever but uh, when it comes it comes populated with a construction a detailed construction cost codes that I've used in my projects in the past so if you don't want them you only have to delete it once and create them once and then your master data is your master data it will always be yours and then you can change it whenever you want update it whenever you want you can come back and add to this as you come across different cost codes very easy to do uh, let's say we go down and again they all have all these um, uh, duplicate uh, warning setup that the cells go red um, and the text goes red if there is a duplicate somewhere so mechanical electrical points somewhere you know is going to be a duplicate we can find but I'll just leave that as it is um, I left that I left those in there so that you know that there is something in there uh, you don't have to use these cost codes most people uh, using the lead project template will not use them so the easiest thing is to come back here go 3851 let's say I just created a duplicate again it's gonna go red and tell me hey hey what's up this is a duplicate um, I can copy that let's say 3852 um, and it will still go red because you know I've got builders margin that's not unique so I can change that and put one and then suddenly it will disappear same goes with this section over here I can call it whatever I want to call it so builders margin could be part of my revenue um, it doesn't have to be my sales so I can you know select a revenue account sales revenue other revenue or let's say revenue DM this is what I use for my development management company so I can select that if I wanted to um, whether or not that thing would include GST whatever the total amount that I spend over there or bring in or from there you have to allocate each one of them with and say okay something like this does not include GST for example what you pay to your pay or staff may not include GST and this could be you know employment expenses you know what I mean so these are the things that you can uh, that data is all sample data that you can delete and start afresh with your own cost codes and your own cost um, uh, account numbers um, but the moment you'll do that it will basically let's say I copy all of them down here change the code to maybe you know 3856 I'll call that 5 and then it will generate a new account over here the only other thing that I need to do is put that under an account head so this could be this could fall under builders margin because this is builders margin on I don't know um, uh, sourced items or whatever you want to call that so um, it does go there and then you've got you know that new thing starts generating over here so very easy to do um, only have to set it up once so everything every cost head that you want to track using lead project has to go in here um, with details so you can do that I'll quickly go through uh, what are the job codes so job codes is again very easy um, again everything that's black gets generated automatically now project email you don't have to worry about it there's something that I'm working on which will be available later on where I can't give you more details about that at this stage but just if you need to generate your job code and your job description the easiest way is that if I add something you know let's say let's say I call it um, 94 SS and the address is 94 station street um, you know ABC suburb Victoria 3158 or 185 whatever you want to put in so you can put in those details what we are interested in are these is this column because anytime we do generate a lead project sheet uh, to do our budgeting we need to put in um, we need to select a uh, a drop down for the job code because when it comes to tracking we track everything from that job code 